What's going on guys, Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. Nothing like a hot, hot summer day, iced coffee and unboxing. What's better than that? Currently filming, we are in the 90s. We got down from like 100 a little while ago. Death Valley hit 130, record breaking worldwide global heat wave, but we're looking good. Right here in front of us is a battery powered drain cleaner, also named an Aguilar, I believe you pronounce it. Now I've used a manual one before and I'm very excited about a battery powered automatic one. The manual one was a little sloppy. This is by the company Tac Life and just like all my review videos in the description box below is gonna be this exact same product. After the video is done, you can pick one up yourself, read more, see what other people are talking about. And this is a 20 volt battery powered drain cleaner. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box, run it through the test run. All right, folks, let's get this sucker out real nice. All righty, on the top of the box, we are gonna have our 20 volt Tech Life 2 amp 20 volt lithium ion battery pack right here. These look exactly like your high end brand with a little clip here, ventilation on the bottom, and your connecting prongs right here as they insert into the machine. We have our user manual here, and let's go ahead and get this guy on out of here, and let's take a closer look at it before we do take it through the test drives. Here in this other box, before we do get to the main unit, we do have our charger here, which has a simple red light and green light right here, that when it is charged, it will go ahead and switch over to green. When it is charging, that red light will be lit up, and it just clips on just like that. All right, this is the unit here. The battery pack is on it and we have our drain cleaner wrapped up inside this here. The front of it will look like this here, and this little handle here is forward and reverse. All right, so as we can see here, we have F and R with a neutral position as well. So this handle right here goes in the three different positions. Right now it's all the way back in R, which means that if you hit the button, the center here would turn a course and it would reverse back in. It does have an LED light as well. We're gonna to get to that in just a second here. So if I click this handle all the way forward, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see it come out and we're also gonna see that LED light right there being able to see as it's coming out towards you there. Now, if you have it in the middle position, so again, not all the way back, but in the middle position, it's gonna stay at this distance and it's gonna circulate in that distance there being able to clean all your drains there. So again, where you go ahead and click it back into the R position and it twirls back into the chamber here. That's really, really cool. Again, three positions on the handle there. Ventilation on the side here with our battery pack. There is a battery indicator light on the back of it here as we push this button here and all four LED lights light up so you can see the battery if it needs to be recharged or not. That's really cool. Overall, very well made machine. These are a couple specifications that you might be interested in there. The rotation speed, the dredging capability, and the flexible shaft size. And then you guys can pause this if you want. This is the minimum wire gauge for extension cord if that interests you at all. All right, if you do have a modern sink like this, the top is just gonna screw off counterclockwise, of course, and then this will actually be shoved down in there a little bit more. It's very simple, you just take an Allen wrench here, I believe this is a Delta faucet, and you slip the Allen wrench in the top here, and you just wanna slightly pull up as you counterclockwise or clockwise, it doesn't really matter, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna spin freely out of there, forgive the nastiness of the hair, we're gonna clean that off, and now you have access to your sink drain here. Now what you wanna do, of course, in the forward motion, we do have the light again. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slow roll that in. And you might wanna go ahead and just put it in there. We don't wanna scratch our sink course. And let's go ahead and go on in there. And what that does is we're just actually on the slow setting here. We're not gonna give it too much goose. And we're gonna go ahead and get on in there. And it's literally, gonna drain through all the way down and through the pipes here, cleaning out any nasty hair, rubbish, whatever it might be in there. Again, this is a 25 footer, so it's gonna go a long way. 
Now, after you are done, or even if you are not done, you wanna give it a little bit more goose, remember, in the neutral position, it'll go ahead and swivel around without going forward or backwards. And now let's go ahead and reel it on in. I would just go ahead and I'm, I'm pushing down the trigger about maybe 20%. It goes a lot quicker than this, but we're gonna go ahead and play it slow to begin with here. As look at how long that drain is, 25 feet. Again, the snake, and it's gonna come back. And here it is right here coming up. And bada bing, bada boom. All right, so we're looking absolutely fantastic being able to get it all in there and then go ahead, retract it all the way back. Now, if you get the drain snake dirty, what I would do is I would take it outside, I would extend it, wash it off, let it dry out in the sun, bake off that bacteria, etc. Now let's go ahead and use it on another drain. All right guys, now it is time to use it on the bathtub here. Now let me show you the size and dimensions and the listing will show you exactly the dimensions of this. Now this one, I believe again, is a Delta drain here. It just unscrews counterclockwise. And then you'll see this right here. And as you can see, this is not removable. The chrome part might be able to lift out, but for some reason, if that is stuck in there, which mine might be sealed in there, this actually fits, but you wanna start it slow. Just like this here. And then once it is in there a little bit more, then you can go ahead and back that up. And so again, take it slow and let it go ahead and zigzag all the way through there. And then when you are ready, and then go ahead and reel it all the way back in, same as last time. And here we go. As you can see there, it really flies, but definitely be careful if, if there is debris, you don't wanna fling that around too much. So go ahead and use it slow, but it is nice that there is that light there, that is great. And when you're all done with that, go ahead and screw that back into place, just like this here. And you're all ready to go, folks. Let me show you one more example. And here is one more example here. Now, unfortunately, this utility sink is kind of cheaper, so unfortunately, this does not remove. But normally, utility sinks might have something different than this. As long as the Tack Life drain snake can fit in there, you don't want to break anything like that. But utility sinks as well are a great fit for this as well. You could even wash the drain snake after you're done in the bathtub and let it dry in there if you want it to. Well guys, overall a solid machine, a solid device, well built, battery power, 20 volt, remove those nasty clogs, bathroom sink, utility sink, kitchen sinks, bathtubs, you guys name it, this thing will do the job. Now remember, there's a lot more information on the link below, which will take you exactly to the product where you guys can read more about it, pick one up yourself. But just like all my review videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you have the cash and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on away. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe on your way out. We'll see you guys on the next video. My name is Chris. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.